you know, he made a little move, a little bit to his left, uh, and then came back to his right, and nobody got back in on Marcus, and that's why he had room for the shot. Bob, he's five of six from the field right now with 13 points. He's coming back down, he runs the floor well. And Reed follows, tap, no, and finally Texas clears. Wide open, Joseph knocks it down. He's got eight points here, three of eight from the field. He opened up with a couple of three balls here in the early going. They've played even for six minutes now, and with a 16-point lead to start with, that's fine, but they still want to increase that margin a little bit. If they'd have gotten that follow-up on the last possession, they would have done so. Shot fake. And Morningstar bangs in. Texas basketball, no foul call. Jacobin transition three, no. Tracked down by Robinson. Basketball should have a rule that when the pass comes to you, you shot fake. <laughs> I've never heard you say that before. <laughs> That's the first time I think this year I've brought up shot fake. Time out. Double, Bob, take a close look. All right, we're going to see something from each one of them. Right here, we've got a really good move into the post. Very good move that on the pass, watch him with the ball, little fake, comes back. That's Markeith. Now we're going to look at Marcus in the post. Markeith working on the baseline, Marcus working in the lane. Going to be the same thing. He's got that man behind him. Look at that right hand. He's got that right hand stretched out for the pass. There it comes. Now you cannot let those guys put the ball on the floor inside. And here's going to be the third one with, with the shot taken uh, on the outside by Marquis. Let's see. Johnson back on the floor. And Selby has checked back in for uh -huh. Coach Bill Self. That's Elijah. Tried to load Robinson, and he'll knock it out of bounds. I've got to tell you, number 32. Selby came in with all the reputation. What I hope for, in fact, I hope he turns in a couple of good plays there. He's really struggled in the tournament, Selby has. I'd like to see him dedicate himself to next year. I think he's got some great talent. And someday he'll play in the league, but he needs to refine his skills a little more. And the best way to do that is to come on back to Lawrence next year and do this all over again. Robinson on the turnaround. And it is cleared off by Jacobin Brown. Texas looking to put together a run. You know, I think the first thing Selby has to do is admit to himself, I've got a lot to learn about this level of basketball. Absolutely. And, and I'm going to make sure that I do learn it. And when I do learn it, I'm going to be a pretty good player. But he's not that right now. He's got to be able to talk to himself a little bit about just where he is. The field goes good and little fouled him. And so Johnson can complete the old fashioned three point play. And, uh, Holly, I, I know there was an injury that sidelined and uh, interrupted Selby's play earlier, wasn't there? That's right. He missed three games with what's called a stress reaction, and that's kind of a precursor to a stress fracture. So they had to really baby that foot and be careful with it. And after he's come back, he just hasn't been the same player. But just in the huddle right now, guys, Bill Self tried to pump him up a little bit and give him some encouragement. He said, go out there and make a play. And he did. Yeah, travel. That's the second time he's traveled here. The, the, the problem for the young man is he's trying so hard. You know, he came from Baltimore and uh, Ballyhood is one of the top youngsters. He knows what Harrison Barnes did today, the freshman for North Carolina. He knows that Barnes went for 40. Torched Clemson in a great comeback by the Tar Heels. They'll play Duke again. Now, Selby, uh, that was a game, a play that he could have made in high school. College, the guys are too quick, too big. Uh, couldn't make that play. Could not make that play uh, in college. He went into traffic and ended up with a turnover. No basket. No basket. And that's the fourth foul on Tristan Thompson. Watch this over the back. And I have to say, I think that was a good call. I do think it was a good call. And I also think uh, it might have been basket interference as well. I think he might have uh, tipped the ball in while it was still in the rim. I think it was a double double dip there. Tristan Thompson is learning a valuable lesson going forward to the NCAA. You can turn in a good game as he did last night. 
but you got to come back even harder the next time. Oh, there's no question. And I'll tell you what, what impresses me about Texas is that they've hung in here in the second half, Brent. They've gone eight minutes now, and they've cut three points off that uh, Kansas lead. And at the halftime, I thought Texas was tired. I mean, really fatigued at the half. But they've bounced back, and they've made up their minds they're going to make a game of the second half, which they've done. They're leading by three in the second half. The trail overall by 12, but they've got plenty of time. 12-17. They put Taylor on the on the free throw line. Marcus Morris, who's on the floor, has two fouls. Taylor today with 14 points. Gary Johnson has three. Thompson on the bench has four for the Longhorns. When we used to have a lead at the half. I would come back out and I'd keep track of our lead in the second half if we had it. I always won. I felt good when we had a lead at the half, and now we're up seven, eight, nine points in the second half. I, that's an indication to me that we're playing pretty good. And Marcus Morris has just picked up number three. Got his hands on him as the pass was made. Had both hands on his back, trying to hold him in position. And Little is up for self. So now they're going to operate without either of the twins. And they go a little bit smaller with little on the floor, but he is one of their good reserves. We've seen him turn in some great moments. I don't think he's ever had a bad game. Both little and Robinson uh, are going to be able to hold their own if they play the way we've seen them play throughout the course of the year. I mean, Robinson came all the way across the lane to get that rebound as an example. He lined up on the left side and came to the right side to get it. This is where the Horns really miss Thompson in this lineup against Robinson and against Little. But he's out with the four fouls, so Matt Hill has to turn in a job. He tries to cut Taylor off, and they kick back, and Little will hoist the three. And it's into Jacob and Brown's hands. I know you didn't like that shot. Not so at all. I don't think that Little needs to make his first attempt at a bucket run from about 25 or 26 feet. They had plenty of time left to get something better than that. And right now, Kansas doesn't want to squander possessions because all of a sudden they find themselves about eight points ahead. Lucas kicks. Joseph hoists a short three, and Robinson is there again for the Jazz. See how short that shot was? That was a result of trying to get the ball up over the pressure, and that's why the shot fake just eliminates that, Brent. I mean, it's sad to see a kid have a chance to get a really good shot and mess it up because he doesn't shot. Well, uh, then Lucas had a good play, huh, Coach? Did a great job. The floor. Made a steal down there, brought it right up. He is a tough little kid out there playing. I don't mean a little kid, but I mean a little guy, uh, and he plays tough. He plays with a big heart. Back down to 12 now, but can they get it down to single digits here? Reed says... Well, it wouldn't go down for him, and it's into Johnson's hands, and here come the horns again now. See, this is the kind of situation that Kansas just does not want any part of. Jacobin, tough shot. And a rebound by Little. Big rebound. See, not having Tristan Thompson really hurts him in the rebounding. Robinson on the run. The scoop shot, foul. and the foul is going to be Hill. called. Hill. Little was trying to rebound, and uh, Hill fouled him. Uh, it's just a, from a Texas standpoint now, this is a stretch where they're really going to miss Tristan Thompson. Yes. Yes. So Kansas City has been a great host of the Big 12 championship, and I believe this current contract still has three more years to run. Great city for a college tournament. on the shot fake. I just can't begin to tell you how many great opportunities and possessions take place with a kid, the ball being reversed, and the shot fake being utilized before the dribble. Let me clean up uh, as we went away. A double foul was actually called, so that was a jump ball. That's why the Horns have possession. It's on the arrow, and Hill was assessed one of them and Little the other. So there was a double foul on that play before you went away. Joseph? Battles in short, and there's Hamilton finishing up. Nobody blocked out Hamilton. I think 
that the block out on Hamilton was Reed, but he stood, watched it come off. Now it's going to get a little tighter. The Morrises, if you noted, are back on the floor. It is down to 10 over the top, and they have turned it over. Remember in Lawrence, it was the second half comeback by the Longhorns that ended that long home winning streak of the Allen Fieldhouse. And they're trying to dig in and come with another Texas rally here. Well, they cut five points off of that lead in 10 minutes. So now they got a chance to really do some damage here, just playing a little bit better than even. Hamilton is dangerous. Reed is on it. Hill screams, gets it back. And now it's Joseph. Inside of 10 on the shot. Joseph's got an open jumper, and it's eight. We're down to single digits, folks. Now Taylor's going to bring it up. And I believe Whitehead looked at the clock as he was coming down. He's going over to say something to Barnes. Oh, there's, I, let, me, let me check what I just said. He, he had seen a little dab of blood on uh, Corey Joseph. So let's take you back to that January 22nd game and Jacobin Brown blazing away as the Jayhawks built an early lead. They led it by 15 and then 23 for Jacobin. And the Horns snap the 69 game winning streak. And Whitehead just came over and confirmed that he did notice that there was a little blood there on Joseph. And so he is out of the game right now. Lucas Jacobin Brown. Markeith kicks it back. Taylor's three. Huge, huge game for Tyshawn Taylor. Lucas with that speed gives it back to Hamilton on the drive. Has to give it up now to Johnson. Jacobin under pressure nails a tough three. What a shooter. Back to eight, 7.59. Keith screens in the backcourt. Brown is one of those guys that missing a shot does not bother him, and he has great confidence in his ability to shoot. You can bet the next time he gets the ball, he's going to put it up. But so does Reed have great confidence, and he answers well, with a huge three, three, coach. Three, three, three. Three straight possessions with threes. Lucas on the drive. Floater in the lane. Rims out. Reed goes for the rebound. What a play by Tyrell Reed. Here's Morningstar off the floor now. Taylor slows it down and brings it back for the half court set. It's a good move by Taylor. Let's run an offense. We're going to get a bucket out of it. And Marcus. And it's Marquise stuffing it off. Whoa. What a rebound for Keith. Backing up his trash talk of last night as they passed each other in the hallway. Boy, they went from eight up to 13 up in a hurry here at Kansas. That was a great uh, return that Kansas made. Jacobin's floater on the run. Hill with a big offensive rebound. Couldn't quite get back up. Johnson to save it and does to Hamilton. Now Lucas off a of fake gets inside. And it's turned over Tyro Reed. What a performance at both ends he has turned in. And Marquise is fouled. Brown is injured on the floor. Johnson picks up the personal foul. Jacobin back on his feet. 